is Terry Grover from Terry Grover Computer Consulting in Portland, Maine. Today, we're going to fill out some forms. Have you ever downloaded a form from the internet or received one by email? You were instructed to print the form, fill it out by hand, stick it in an envelope, or if you're technically savvy, you might fill it out by hand, put it on your scanner, scan it into your computer, and then email. Either way, you've spent a lot more time than you needed to to fill out this form. So let's learn how Adobe Reader can help us fill out the form right on the computer. If you don't have Adobe Reader, go get it. Online, you're going to go to www.adobe.com. Go here to the download link and click on Adobe Reader. Adobe automatically recognizes what kind of computer you're running, what operating system, and gives you the correct version. Be sure whenever you are downloading a program that you check carefully around the page and uncheck all of those optional offers, offers to change your search engine, offers to put in extra programs, all the things you don't need and often are not good for your computer. Then simply click Install Now, go through the process, and you will have Adobe Reader, the latest version. Now, back to our form. What I want to do is fill out this form. It's just a typical form that was created for, in this case, a church auction. All I have to do here is go up to the right-hand side in the upper corner and notice these three buttons that we always ignore in Adobe Reader. I want you to click Sign. When I get the, the fill and sign box open, notice I can add check text, I can add check marks, which are often necessary. I can initial and even put my signature on this form. Right now, I'm going to add text, so I'm going to click Add Text. Notice what happens. This Add Text button appears here. I can change the font, I can change the size, I can do anything I want. I'm going to take my cursor and I'm going to click it right here where I want to type my name. And here I am. See? And all I have to do is click here. Perhaps I'm going to sell at the auction a painting. And I can continue to do that. Let's say here I want my letters to be smaller. I can make them smaller and say this is a painting that my Completed. Whatever you'd like to do. When you're all done, all you have to do is File, Save As, and simply name your form. There it comes. We're going to save as whatever we would like to save it as. And to email it, simply click on the envelope that says Save File as Email Attachment. It is going to automatically connect to your desktop email program, whether you use Outlook or Apple Mail or Windows Live Mail or if you're in Windows 8, the Mail app. It's simply going to open a new email and attach this automatically. And that's all there is to filling in PDFs. Thanks.